while Notion releases some functionality from time to time, power users discover hidden Notion tips and tricks, sometimes not envisaged by Notion themselves. Some classic examples of Notion hacks include the formula bar and the side-by-side -side databases. I refer to these as secret doors, which show you a completely different world. Today, I'm going to talk about one of those secret doors involving Notion formulae, but not involving Notion's published syntaxes alone, but something more. Regular expressions or regex in short is like an API for defining string patterns, for searching, replacing or manipulating, and is widely used by coders in Java or Python, for example. You can use regex for use cases like flashcards to study, CRM, sales data, script writing, removing empty spaces, text manipulations, counting number of words, adding labels into text, and many, many more examples. What I'm about to show you is a simple application of the same, and it'll be easy for you to follow along. I discovered regex expressions work inside of Notion, and I'm amazed by how powerful this could be when used with standard syntaxes inside of Notion. So let's use an example. I use a CRM to store customer information and sales information. These are required for various purposes, including supporting data for filing my taxes. So my website sends me a copy of the invoice that was sent to the customer, which includes the customer name, the address, email address, and the payment mode. Normally, I would have to cut and paste each one of these pieces of information individually and break them up in the Notion database. Then I found a smarter way. So let's start with something simple. In the first instance, the name is broken up into the first name and the second name. So the replace all formula is useful in this case. The syntax for replace all is replace all the full string, which in this case is the property called name. What is required to be replaced and the replacing characters. The regex string can be inserted only into the second part of this formula. In the case of extracting the first name, the square brackets request the string to extract everything till the space arrives, which is indicated by the full stop and then the asterisk. For the last name, just reverse this by excluding everything till the last name, so you add the full stop and the asterisk up front. Note here that both conditions come in between quotes. Let's say what you get is the full details, the name, the address in four lines, the mode of payment, and the email address. This is what my website provides me as well. So here I want to extract the email address, which is done by nesting two replace all commands, one inside the other. In the first command, it replaces the entire string of the email, which is the regex command here with a blank. The regex syntax here is to look for all lowercase, all uppercase numbers, dots and dashes, follow that up with at the rate, and the same sequence once again. The plus sign here is to indicate that the syntax can come multiple times. The net result of the next replace all command is to extract out the email alone. So in the second replace all nesting, we take the original expression from all the details and extract it out, and this derived expression becomes what is left? That's the email ID. Now let's go back to the main all details expression. The payment details are mentioned as CC, which is credit card, followed by a small string and the last four digits of the card number. Or if you make the payment by PayPal, it just says PayPal. Now I want to eliminate that, the email ID and the name for extracting the address. So we use four nested replace all commands. The first one is to eliminate the full name. Two of them to eliminate the payment string, one for the credit card string, and the second one where it says PayPal. And the last one is to eliminate the email extract. So what's left is the address string. For the final payment mode, we use the if command. And this one is easy. If PayPal is mentioned in the full details, it's PayPal. Otherwise, it's Stripe. And this is how we use the if syntax. This was one way to use regex strings. And there are many different types of regex strings and many, many different use cases to use them. Whether it's for studies, writing notes, creating different kinds of databases, and manipulating strings. So I have a detailed course which covers formulae and regex in greater detail here. Links are in the description. If you're not yet part of this community, 
do consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the bell icon to stay notified of new videos. If you like this video, consider sharing it with your friends. Stay safe, stay healthy, peace.